So his defense boost is permanent, but he only has a speed boost because of... Okay, now I get the idea. Which means he's probably not even special. He might be physical. I'm going to have to bank on him being physical. Um, he's fucking gone, man. God damn. <laughs> okay, guys, so we're going to be testing out the Greninja team today. Hopefully, you guys can't hear the lawnmower. I've actually been trying to record this video for a long time. Um, the first recording was actually phenomenal. We got Storm Zone, um, high 1900 games. It was just great. Right? We were in the high, well, I think mid 1900s or low 19, no to mid. Um, and since then, it's just been random psychic terrain after psychic terrain after just stuff. Shed tail, mono, it was crazy. And so. We've lost quite a bit of points since then. But we're going to be on the Dondoza alt. Because if you remember, we mentioned that I'm going to do a uh, a series where I take teams, build them. And so this is not going to be that series. Because Greninja is new. That's the only reason I did the team builder around it. And so that will get um, some attention and whatnot. And so that aside, uh, after we get the Greninja stuff out of the way, because uh, I want to test this team live. And I already see what the flaws are. Um, because it's not gimmick proof. I don't have any fear resist outside of Goldengo or any Dragon You know. So there is a lot of. Uh, there are a lot of things to be done here. It's funny because if I just had the Garg over the Garg Chomp. It would fix 99% of the problems. But I do want to adjust the offensive version as well. Before I just switch to the, the, the Garganical, ver Garganical version. Um. And so, yeah. Let's see what we're working with here. I'd say um, Goldengo is going to Merc. It's actually a phenomenal situation to test out the, the strategy that we mentioned, which is Hazard Stack Overwhelm with, with um, the combination of uh, Garchomp, um, Great Tusk, and Goldengo when it comes to Don Dozo. So. Uh, the question is, what is Greninja going to get the hazards up versus uh, Iron? Iron, what's this, this guy's point? 16 or something, probably up. I could tell by the, the, the thing he just said. Um, and then the fact that he doesn't have rocks. <laughs> I, at least I don't think he has rocks. Maybe Iron Thirds or whatever this is. Iron Fist. Iron Hands, that's what it is. So. Phase one is going to involve removing an item because I'm well. I was expecting to stare down. Um, what's his face? Scizor. But Vaporeon makes sense, especially if you're predicting a Chomp. The Chomp actually was amazing. I don't know why the fuck I didn't. Actually, I do know why. But I mean, I could have still done it. Uh, Vance is. So. This is an interesting situation. Am I gonna Terra? Do I need my Terra normal? I don't. Because Vaporeon is an annoying enough Pokemon to where there's a justification to Terra this. Um, so what I'll do, because um, on the off chance, gotta learn this thing gets Calm minus Specs. Okay. That's no bueno. Because what the downside of this is that I open up Iron Hands, but I am bulk up. And it does a lower in Dondoza. So if, if Knockoff did 38, I can Earthquake here. <coughs> if he Dondozos, I knock it. I don't know if he doesn't have any ground immunity. I was thinking about <coughs> bulking up first so that he can't go to his uh, his Iron Hands after the fact. Uh, yeah, bulk up would have done the job. So I should have bulked up there. Why not have the speed boost? I don't think it'll be relevant for anything, but why not have it? Uh, so Iron Head, and if Iron Hands comes out, uh, I don't think it can one shot me either way. But even if it could, you know, I don't really need this for anything else. I want to bait the Dondoza into knock off it, knock it off. But beyond that, and so this is where I mentioned where Gold Angle is. That's a huge issue for my opponent. I don't have a fair resist. I do have the covert cloak on the oh fucking is that spec shadow ball? Wow. Why didn't I see that coming? Like shadow ball did not even cross my mind. This isn't good. Is that specced? I mean, you did fucking eighty seven to me. 
I have quite a bit of there's no way. You have to be specs. Okay. No grin here. Cause I knew he'd switch. I didn't think Goldengo would be the switch. I, mean, I expected Don Dozo. This allows for me to get those spikes up. Cause I said Garchomp's gonna go crazy with these hazards. I've gone mad with hazards as we go to Great Tusk. Now he actually wave crashes excellent and he's leftovers. I'm not fearing the curse too much because I do have Terra Dwell. I don't have Terra anymore. I was going to say I have Terra Dragon. We're going to remove that item here to set up for the late game. I don't see. Okay, excellent. So um, we're going to force him to rest. Body press is doing decent ish damage. I'm going to throw out one more of these bad boys until you rest. Now you rest. Yeah, let's go um, chomp instead. Why would you wave crash again, bro? What the hell? That actually fucked my shit up. I, what the fuck? I mean, it doesn't hurt me. Right? It does open up my Dragonite quite a bit, but and my Shampoo quite a bit, but it does open up his Scizor quite a bit. You know? So, I wanted to have some rocks here, but now I can't even go for it because that wave crash did so fucking much. So, uh, we're just going to have to use Garchomp offensively. So, but basically what I expected there was to be able to get him to rest, get up rocks, and then start ravaging, ravaging his team. Uh, Tusk is actually fucking good. Like, really good. Like, really good. Really good. It's really good. Uh, Bandit Bullet Punch would KO me. I'm thinking, who don't I need? Goldie. Goldie can go. He really U turned there. I'm not shocked. He is uh, 1641. The risk versus reward, I don't think, is uh, his primary concern. But we do have to be mindful that he hasn't terrored yet, which is why I'm keeping my Shien Pao in the back. So that uh, if he terra flangs that uh, Hariyama, we can wake him up with this Icicle Crash. Wake him the fuck up. As now he can't guard against Legar Chomp. So I don't, I'm pretty sure Sylveon's going to try to come out here. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's like Mono Fairy Week team. <coughs> The Golden Go didn't show any moves. I mean, he's so fucking, uh, what's this called? Wait, that one would have to assume. One would certainly assume that. So we're going to take advantage of the Great Tusk here. Uh, it could be, it could be Terra Flying and he uses it now. Alternatively, what else could it be? It could be, um, I don't want to not do any damage here. Could be what assault vest. I mean, if I knock, if I knock and he doesn't terra, if I knock and he, if I earthquake and he terrors, I'm staring on a terra flying iron hands, which probably won't die to any of my minds. I have to give up two mods to kill this. And then he's gonna have Scizor, which is banded most likely. Because it killed my gold angle. Like, I'm still a. Like, I quad resisted that says 100% banded, which is good for D Knight. And then you'll have that pesky gold angle. I'll EQ. Terra fights. Uh, the risk versus reward there wasn't that. Um, it wasn't like that big of a risk. Uh, it's probably Assault Vest. Yeah, it's a wild charge. That's wild. <laughs> See what I did there. Hmm. What to do? I do have extra sensory, but as I said, he's probably... I mean, Earthquake did 25%, man. That's fucking embarrassing. Uh, let's chomp and um, get this extra bit of damage so that Grin can kill him. He actually goes hard, Scizor. This guy's a madman. <coughs> <coughs> So now, hmm. So Golden Go would have to trick my Dragonite to stop his rampage. Because uh, now Scizor dies. I go Dragonite, Dragon Dance, kill this. Nah, Silviano coming and kill me. 
could go Grin and take two of these. Because Grin's not beating anything else anyway. If he U-turns, he's just the king of the king of the game. But yeah, no human U-turns there. There's no way in fucking God's name he takes Ice Beam. There's just no way. I refuse to believe that. I don't want to miss the Hydro because it defeats the whole purpose of this. Uh, I must that stab life for Ice Beam is doing minimum 21. I just realized I didn't turn the timer on. I just, I didn't, it's just dawned on me. But uh, I don't think any weirdness. Pretty sure that spec Sylveon based on the Shadow Ball damage. I just don't feel like calculating. It's been a long ass day. <laughs> Truth be told, but I gotta get this live, especially because I didn't give you guys any lives yesterday. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna gonna vibe this out. My apologies for the lower ladder activity. Uh, I, I, I was gonna lie, I don't mind it too much. I'm enjoying the uh, oh, see, the Max Bedef AV. The upside is that I get to see what his gold angle is, so he goes to it like confidently. So we're just in a hydro pump. In theory, in theory, we hydro pump there. <sighs> See the fuck I'm talking about? You're like, Jim, don't you think you're overreact? Am I? Sub gold angle. You already know it's like sub terra flying too. Uh, is If he's wise, he'd sub again. Like, part of me wants to just spike to get some more damage on the Hariyama. I'll hydro though. Because if he subs again, then at the very least he's lower on health, right? I wanted to spike there, but it is what it is. Somebody in this motherfucker is going to try to terrestrialize. Sub fucking Goldango, guys. Jam, don't you think you're overreacting? Sub. Su Did you not hear what I just said? This dude is a sub leftovers Goldango. So, Chomp. Uh, John, oh no, you can't tear a tear at fighting. Ah, I caught myself, guys. I caught it. <laughs> I caught it. I'm probably faster. Yeah, I caught it. You got a fucking spadef drop. What a scumbag. What a scumbag. Who gets spadef drops there? I forgot his Hariyama. I caught it, guys. That that's my big weakness. Forgetting about the damn terrors. So we just uh yeah no not even Tim and Sylveon can outspeed me. I know you're fucking offensive. Uh, and then just EQ, Chomp, Orb, Life. That Orb of Life! And I'll EQ enough to where Crunch can kill if EQ the alright doesn't kill. Actually, I don't know. Is Crunch killing this shit? 13%? I do think this can live this. If Life Orb Earthquake did... Watch this, Miss Bros. Okay. Yeah, we ice go. I see the case for Ice Spinner, but I hate taking the recoil. I hate taking the recoil. So, um, but yeah, that's not a testament to the the, the quality of the team. Um, meaning, like, uh, nothing about like that wasn't because the team was so damn good. Like any team could have won that game uh, if you played half decently, right? Um, now I will say, in using this team, it only has lost to gimmicky stuff. So I, I played quite the first. I said the first live where it was just nothing, nothing but lawnmowers. Um, with a great live, I just had to scrap it. Right? It's just too much noise. The other ones were a little bit too, but it was like more halfway in. Like right now, there's no lawnmower. Like I guess they move far away or they turn it off. Um, and then like halfway in the video, it'll be so it's like, fuck, you know. But uh, it can't deal with random psychic terrain strats, the shell smash, like things of that nature, uh, because it's such an offensive build cannot like it's it's very hard if I can't priority them on. Um which, you know, with with offensive bills I figured as much. Uh, if they have like Hatterene, I think I faced like Sash Volt. It was some crazy stuff. So like tricky little things like what I'm facing now it struggles with. Uh but I think the Garg version, like Garg would just I just sit. Like there's nothing you can do. You can't outplay me. And then I just stall until I can get the um the setup with D Knight or Shampao. Speaking of which, that's what we're going to go for here. More so D-Knight than anything else. So the conditions we need met for D-Knight to do his damn thing is the Iron Threads gone because it gets a boost. Um, I 
He doesn't have a spin blocker, but that's probably terror. Yeah, this is such a strange team because <clears throat> he's so weak to chump. He's so weak to chump. Uh, I don't even know what the Haluch is supposed to be. I'm just killing this shit. I figured if it was this, I, I just Draco and you drop. Oh, he actually doesn't one shot. But you can tell you didn't even think about like like no thought whatsoever as far as like what happens after you swords dance. Chomp's way too good. Uh <clears throat> cause he'd die here to acrobatics, obviously. But I don't need my golden go. Uh, that's even if I get two to kill here. Yeah, I might not even. And I'm not pivoting into Shienpa predicting no damn throat chop or nothing like that. Oop. Acro, we live, so but as I said, Dragonite's that go-to guy. That go-to guy. I could have hazarded there. I would have gotten some value out of the turn. Because I'd have rocks up to, to, to scout out the um, the moth and the, um, I guess a special attack raise. Shocker. Uh, but he's going to have to stare down Le Chomp once again. Unless this is... Really, Gren is that nigger? Gren is that guy. I suppose if he Terra Waters, that's not the end of the world. I mean, Terra Grasses, that'll help. Because I've forced the Terra and I'll know what I'm working with for the remainder of the game. He can't surprise me. I could go Chomp. And he goes Valiant. The problem with that is I don't have a very resist. Hmm. And then Hydro can miss and such. But if I go for Hydro, I get a kill for show. What to do? If we're setting up for D Knight, we need that little electric thing dead. Let's see if he terrestrializes this. About to get our battle bond here, baby. <laughs> nah, battle bond isn't in the game. I don't think it's in the game, nor is it even good. Uh, it's like some trash shit now. Uh, Shempa is also lethal, but uh, with the electric chain up, terrain up, it's just not as good. And I have to rely on a speed tie versus his at, at most, right? I don't have um, Sacred Sword, so like, there are just too many variables. Yeah, like this team would need to be reworked. They're not, the team has solid offensive synergy, but even within offense you need some defensive synergy within the offense unless you're just gonna go 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 so sludge wave i forced the terra which means i don't have to be concerned about anything else the fact that he's terra fairy makes me think that perhaps perhaps this um crunch should kill him 31. there's no way you go valiant smacks defense threads on his sacred sword. Well, actually, the, the boots just actually go through it. So, uh, go to rocks. Which is whatever to me. It's whatever to me. It's when he could lose. Spin. Rocks don't matter. Just earthquake here. Uh, it goes hard to the pinchy. The pinchy. The pinchy. Uh, we need bands up. I need the bands up. Spin. Because I'm staring down Valiant after this, which I don't want. So the worst case scenario would be him being banded. Uh, Rocks don't matter. So what I wanted to do there was go Garchomp. So I could get Rocks up. But uh, he's actually Corked. What the fuck? I didn't know you could use both, actually. No, no, no. Wait, what? What just happened? Electric train activated. The opposing speed was heightened. Use this electric speed. What the fuck? Hold up. So his defense boost is permanent, but he only has a speed boost because of... Okay, now I get the idea. 
Which means he's probably not even special. He might be physical. I'm going to have to bank on him being physical. Um, he's fucking gone, my God damn. <laughs> you see what I'm talking about? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> and my earthquake is literally going to miss. But I need to take a hit right now. I gotta weather this storm. I gotta weather this storm. Oh, I almost died. Oh, that did decent damage. I actually did good damage. Oh my god, bro. You cannot make this stuff up, my guys. You truly cannot. How could you? How could you make this stuff up? So I could lose now, depending on what the. Uh, this this is insane. Like, depending on what the Shien Pao set is, I could lose. That is funny. Like, that is actually hilarious. Like, he's electric terrain. Like, this, I have never seen Valiant with so many boosts. Problem is, I don't think EQ plus E speed does him in. And I need. Okay, it does. Actually, it might not. I don't know. EQ? Oh, 32, yeah. That's twice the damage. Whoa, what the fuck, bro? And then a fairy type that's a gimmick? Oh, you're not. But that's what um you might be wondering. Why is it a gimmick, Jam? As a gimmick, whenever a <coughs> the category of gimmick is something that um that only works once. So for example, if you tried to use that on me again, it wouldn't work. Right? Because I don't know. Uh actually after extreme speed here. So it's gonna come down to whether or not he's um he's life or shit. I can win. So what I got to do is go to my pow. I got to go to chomp after that to see if he is sacred sword. Yes, yeah, sucker punch. So I think I've prevailed. It's still going to be close. He's sucker. So I need the swords dance on mine. If he's icicle crash. So yeah, it's gonna come down to um, because if I sacred sword lock, he's in trouble. I doubt he has um, yes. Please don't get no look. Okay, so I should kill his great tusk is max defense, I think. So if I take another crunch, it's gonna leave me at thirty something, which means sucker punch shouldn't kill me. That put me at 30 something. Crunch is 10 BP more. I'm, I'm outside of Great Tusk's range for any move though. But if he suckers, I'm in a bind. But no human suckers here. Cause uh. Mm. So here's the here's the conundrum, guys. If his iron threads can take a hit, and I take another hit. I die. You're like, damn, there's no iron it's taking plus two. If it's max defense, it might. You saw it take a defense boost. That's his highest stat. Uh I'm gonna ice shard here, he fucking suckered. So yeah, we we took a gamble there. If I swords dance again there, he lost. If he lost the speed so he needed like everything to go perfectly his way there to win. Uh if Okay, so he just died, never mind. I I thought it might, but I don't. I've never run into a max defense iron threads. I only run into uh, what's his face, you know. So on the out chance this shit was scarf, <coughs> we just knocked that shit out. Actually, I think I saw it switch moves, but no reason not to ice shard right there. <coughs> As we play our last game, <coughs> excuse me. But one good thing about it all is that one thing I appreciate about the seventeen hundred range, even like mid-1800 players is that they run like just strange stuff so it makes the life a lot more entertaining and it's cool to see that we have a meta game where strange stuff can hang a little bit you know but i do enjoy more of the highlighter stuff uh, i'll make the adjustment i don't have the time to make the adjustments and render this today because i'm not sure what adjustments i make so I'll bring back this team tomorrow with the adjustments and then I'll explain the adjustments, set adjustments a hundred times. Uh, 
before I start the live so you guys can know why I did them. So let's see, six hundred and nine, okay. It's weird stuff coming our way. <coughs> he doesn't guard at all against Goldengo. And Iron Moth isn't Volcarona, so we're probably staring down light screen turn one. But what is our end game? I have a couple ways I could go about this. I could go then go lead plot Shadow Ball into his Iron Moth. But what that, where does that take us? Does that serve any purpose? If we're Dragonite sweeping, we need uh, or Shampoo sweeping, we need damage on this, this, and we need the guard to Terra. Alternatively, I could Greninja. Force the light screen, spike Goldengo as he goes for the thing. Because alternatively, great. So, what I'll do for the longevity of the game, I'm actually gonna. Oh, he led Great Tusk. That's insane for a couple reasons. He's mad Great Tusk weak in damn self. His damn self. So, he's. Okay, that makes sense. Well, it doesn't make sense that he's leftovers and he's taunt. Very odd. Because if he's leftovers and taunt, chomp leader of eight. I want you to consider this. If I like Greninja, what does he do versus Hydro Pump? Remember the number one rule of, <coughs> of leading is never to lead lead badly versus something you can't guard against, right? And so they can't guard against Greninja. So you should never lead something that loses to Greninja. Um, and he's offensive um, Great Tusk, so or I'd assume so. He's faster than me, which means he's running quite a bit of speed. Like he's gonna give me his great tusk. Very odd. Very odd decision indeed. CQ again. Um, because there's no relevant mind that great tusk needed to be weakened for. So he traded his great tusk, which is helpful for him when it comes to my Dragonite and my Garchomp as far as Earthquake goes. Not <coughs> as far as Draco, but <coughs> I don't know what's going on why I'm coughing. I'm not like sick or anything. Uh, I, I never trust the lower ladder when it comes to Iron Moth. You know, just be doing weird things. Be doing weird things, bro. Uh, chumps. Chumps should be straight. I mean, I hope. Uh, anybody else expected the burn there? I know y'all expected the burn. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. Is it Sash? Strange times, man. I'm telling you, strange times. So. Uh, here comes the screens. The question is, um, what are you looking to do with it? The problem with screens in here is, one, you give me rocks, right? Two, <coughs> you give me plots. You give me rocks and you give me plots because the, nothing you can, you can't court change, not court change, you can't, because um, I have a shadow ball, right? Garganico is the only mine you can go into safely. So it goes gold hard, goldie doesn't get to the kill which means that's some bulk to it because without the screens it would have done 80 so twice the damage um golden go is something that is annoying but i'm not overly concerned about I'm just questioning whether or not um because hmm. i want to set up before he does with my shampoo but he hasn't terrored yet. Which is pesky. Stop being pesky, bro. I may recover your fearing the uh, Dark Pulse to scout out what I do. Yeah. Good play. Good play. Reflect light screen has a million turns left. Uh, now he attacks. If he plots. I can survive. Not like survive the nasty plot, but like survive the turn. Uh, so I'm doing his Dragonite first. So it allows for me to roost. Yeah, he's faster than me. So he's faster than my Dragonite, but bulky. So he's probably like max, max. So if I DD here. No, I don't need it. Yeah. 
go tusk so this is what i meant so now he's uh, either has to terrestrialize um with the flying or switch out right <clears throat> I don't know what his other move is. It could be taunt. Because um, my D-Knight setting up is, is is lovely, but... I'll go Goldingo this turn. Do I need the next spike? I don't. Mm-hmm. That's exactly what I wanted you to do. Because now you can't switch hard gold angle anymore. Shadow Ball the first turn. It's always the best play. <clears throat> it's always the best play the first turn. <clears throat> because I have very low risk. If he leaves it in, he can't harm me. Because um, he can't harm me. Because uh, unless he has like some dark. He has foul play. Wow. I've never seen one that can touch gold angle. That's actually quite cool. Uh, so we recover here. Goes hard Goldie that turn. Good play. Good read. Good read. If I terror, then I'm opening myself up to um, Espathra a little bit. And it. That was a ri risky play, but good play nonetheless. He can't knock me out, which is what I'm concerned. I'm thinking about. He can't knock me out in one hit. I might be faster and I can potentially Terra knock my Viterra. And Akimad he has to go to Espathra. I don't think, I think the, the downside, the upside outweighs the downside. Because they can't go Espathra. He has to go Garg, which is a non factor. So it goes Espathra. Problem is, you can't, unless you're Protect. If he's protect, I just oh, Terra Water. That's interesting. And I don't die from. Um, I forgot actually that he has the screens up. Hmm. This is an interesting sequence. If he's Roost. Okay, Roost is an issue. <coughs> roost is an issue. But that does mean he's not Terra fighting uh, or did I get a split F drop? Yeah, I got a split F drop. But now he knocks me out with um knocks me out with stored power. He can't roost. This is why I didn't want to um, Terra, but stored power roost. I guess it technically could be. Why couldn't it be Terra Water? I mean, what would that cover for? I've never seen a set like this before. Terra Water, huh? Which means that my Shampa's Ice Shard is neutralized. Roost? I mean, it has to be Terra Blast. That's the last move. And plus two Terra Water will definitely kill my Shampa. Uh, this is very creative. It's very creative indeed. And my gold angle being gone means Garganical is now a problem. So I gotta pull this through with Dragonite. This is why I wanted my um So I wanted my um And it's not strong enough because he stored powers here. Uh yeah, that plus E speed is not gonna cut it. Especially with Ice Shard. Oh it did cut it, wow. Dina is a fucking monster. I always underestimate E speed's damage output. It's not Grimstone can't come in, so he has to go Garg. And obviously you don't want Garg taking a plus one EQ. I'm EQing first. Not expecting it to KO. Uh, but I don't need it to. Because at this point we just pow. It's foul play. Is there any reality? Chomp is actually better. I was thinking, is there any reality where Garganico survives this? from my pal because after a protect he might I don't know how much max 
defense. Uh, max Max Gark takes from a Jolly Crunch. So I actually ended up pulling that through. So, as I said, um, <laughs> my apologies for <coughs> being lower on the ladder. Uh, but the team has to be, adjustments has to be made. And I hear the lawnmower coming back. So, if you enjoyed the video, I know it was a rough one today, but I, I appreciate everybody that rocks with me. Not every day is always peachy and golden in real life. And so, uh, yeah, we're going to be uh, ending it there. I do want to try this offensive team again, but I want, before I switch to the guard one, because I'm very confident in the guard one, I might try to, like, as a last ditch ending the week kind of thing, you know, try to go for, depending on how close we get, I'll shoot for a number one with the guard version. Uh, but with this one, I want to make some adjustments for my offense players out there. So if you enjoyed, hit the like button down below, guys. Love you. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.